Hi everyone, this is a video I created to share with you the way that I have my CH throttle quadrant set up for Microsoft Flight Simulator X, enabling reverse thrust uh, features, etc., without having to use FSUI PC. The first thing you'll have to do is go to the CH Products website and download their control manager software. It's pretty simple. You just go down the page to find the throttle quadrant, you click on that, then look for the link for the control manager software. And save it somewhere where you know you can open it later. I'm going to save mine to my desktop. It's just easy for me to use later and I'll uh, probably just delete it when I'm done. And there it is. Before you install, please note, remove any older versions of the software if you have it already uh, before you install the new one. And turn off your antivirus software before installing it. Uh, after it installs, Windows may prompt you to install some drivers. Uh, let it do it automatically. If you have an old version and you messed around with using maps and you want to get rid of that, you can just message me here and I can maybe help you out. And uh, you should restart your system after installing this. So now that we've rebooted the system and you can uh, start the program, and then you click on this Test Calibrate button. Next, you click on the CH Throttle Quadrant and then click Done. And here's your page that shows you all your axes and buttons. Once this is set up properly and calibrated, we'll have uh, some virtual buttons we can use in Flight Sim. So let's click on Calibrate. And uh, here we'll put all of our axes, controls in the full back position. And then once there, we click the button and then we move them up forward to the notch. There's a notch where it stops and uh, once you get them settled in there you click the button again. For this one I had to do something a little bit different. I had to uh, move the throttles up all the way and the mixtures up all the way. Now for the props I didn't push them all the way full forward. What I did was I went forward but then I pulled them back just a little bit and uh, it enabled me to do better engine shutdowns in flight when I was in flight sim. So I don't know why but it works a little better for me. You can try whatever you want. Once this is done you just click the click button and then uh, you click apply. I'm not going to click apply because I've already calibrated mine. I'm just going to hit cancel. But that's what you do. Hit apply. Then done. And as you'll see uh, when I bring the controls back, the red buttons are being activated. Those are our virtual buttons that we'll use for flight sim. And when you go back further, they activate other buttons. But you just click done. And then up here you click exit. And that's it for a proper calibration. And then we load up flight sim. Click on settings and then controls. Under the calibration tab we want to select our CH throttle quadrant and uh, ensure that our sensitivity for all axes and null zone is 127 and 1. Okay, and this makes a difference. Uh, you'll see if you mess with it you'll notice a difference. Also go over to your axes and select CH throttle quadrant again and this time you're going to have to make sure that all the correct axes are in the right place. Uh, they probably will not be and you'll probably have to change this but that's fine. And then you go over here buttons and keys. We'll have to select the CH throttle quadrant and then engines and then go down to see the buttons that have changed. I've set it up to use mixture lean incrementally, mixture lean quickly, propeller decrease, 
RPM incrementally, propeller decrease RPM quickly. And for the throttles, uh, note that there's two throttle decrease, so I use one for each throttle. And here's what I did. If you want to see what you do, you make sure all the controls are in the notch before you double click the mouse. For mixture lean incrementally, I take my right mixture and pull it back all the way. And that gives me this button. Then I click OK. Make sure you move the slider to full repeat. Under mixture lean quickly, I pull my left mixture back all the way and I hit this button. Make sure once again you set it to repeat. And then for propeller, decrease RPM incrementally. Same thing, but this time we use our right prop. We bring it back all the way, we get this button, click OK and set it to repeat all the way. And then for propeller decrease RPM quickly, it's the same deal. We just use our left prop, bring it back all the way, use this button, click OK, repeat all the way. Under the throttles decrease, the first one that came up, I just used my left throttle and brought that back all the way. I found I had to use my slider on half instead of full repeat so it wasn't too fast. And the same with the right throttle. And make sure to set the repeat on half. Then click OK on the bottom and now you're all set. This method I found worked for me. I'm very happy with it. When practicing some engine failures and stuff I noticed a few little things that made a difference so here are some final suggestions. These throttle settings work great for reverse thrust and beta modes. However, with single engine emergency operations, you will have to remember to hit the E key, then one or two, depending on which prop you will need to select to make go beyond beta into feather. Then you can pull the respective lever past the notch to its full back position to decrease beyond the FSS axis zero setting and make the prop actually stop. For example, a King Air. Once it's feathered, just move the lever back up to the notch and hit E again. Doing this just reselects both engines uh, for any other FSX purpose. This is actually quite easy to remember and it's just one more simple item to add to any checklist. Uh, other twin aircraft with more simple roles like for example the Piper Seneca will only require going as far back as the notch to feather in flight and uh, then you won't have to hit the E key at all. I uh, hope that this video was helpful. I tried not to make it too long, and thanks for watching.